But today, I am back on the Carnage Terror server. Um, so today, I was going to do some work in the house. Now, again, I find that the house lacks. There's something that it lacks. That it desperately needs. I, I, I mean, I'm not too sure what it is. I don't have a specific idea quite yet of what I want it to be. But it lacks something, and it needs it. Now, I wanted to test around with something. But first, I need to get some wood, and I need to mine something out. So I see you when I get that finished. But we need to get this done, because it, it actually could add a lot to the house. I don't know. Headset inside. It wasn't. Ouch. Okay, this is exactly why we need this area that we just made. Look at that. It's already full. Okay. Hey, hey, Skelly. Hey, hey. Hey, Skelly. Hey, hey, Skelly. There you go. You're dead too. Nice. Now. I'm gonna eat, so I don't die. Spiffy! Stupid Spiffy stole my chest plate. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna put my tools and all of that into here. And I think now what we should do is, since I have a bunch of birch trees all around, I should start off by making chests with birch trees. Now, or birch logs, or whatever, birch planks, whatever you want to call them. Shush. Don't judge. I will also use the dark oak, since dark oak is also very plentiful. There we go. Now, if we head down here, we can start setting up our storage system. Now, I'm going to go up to four, and that's where it's going to stop, because that's about the highest you can reach. So... That's a better place to stop at. Okay, well, we're already out. Uh, I might have to go get some more wood eventually, but for now, this is a good start. So, let's see. Uh, I can use all of this. It doesn't matter to me, really. Uh, more wood. No, no, not any there. Not there. And there is some wood here. So now, we can make... Tons of more and more chests, and start our system for sorting. Valrotho. Okay, uh, so let's get this. Okay, that's gonna be an odd amount. Well, well, he's gone now. Okay, guess he only wanted to say hi. <laughs> Okay, so this will go up to here, and do the same thing all the way around. Luckily, all of this is even. Yeah, yep, okay. Can I not? Okay, I can't do that. Can I do that? No, I can't. 
The stupid Endermen are trying to get me killed. So, to start off, <clears throat> we could probably make our food chest is one thing that we need. Very important. And we need a chest for all of this. I forget how that shortcut works. Where you... You somehow manage to get all of the cobblestone into your inventory immediately. I don't know how that that uh, works anymore. I forget. But let's head down and put all of this away. So we'll start from the top. Like so. And then this is just how we'll have everything organized. We'll have everything put in like this. Then go to the next one. Put it all over like this. Oh. Now I have to go around all of that because I failed. So that when we go up to it, we can just shift click our cobblestone into the chests and then walk away. So it's easy storage. I can. I would assume that we might have to use or put more chests down for cobblestone because right here alone I got quite a bit of cobblestone. But. That's something we will solve if it becomes an issue later. But for now, let's just go with what we have. Oops, I put two in that. There we go. So now all I need to do is spam, shift click it all into there, and done. So I think these chests are going to be sharing granite, diorite, all of those other blocks. Because they're not the more major types of blocks, they're just kind of there. So we can have those all sharing chests. Bad. Bad. Okay, he's dead. Uh, where is that? So we'll take the cobblestone, the rest of the cobblestone, and we'll put it back into the, its specific chest. Okay, head down and put it away. And then we can get our other building blocks, like the stone and all of that, into its own chest. So this was, uh, this took about 30 minutes, I would say. It wasn't the most interesting thing to do, but it was okay, I guess, for, I mean, at least I'm not doing what Matt, Matt aka Slash is doing over there with his basement. I don't know what... Well, I don't know who this person is. Um, I'm not exactly sure what his plans are for that, but he's got something. Okay, take all of that, and then... So, what we could do up here is this will be the granite chest. So, halfway down, like, to there, we'll do that. So that's polished granite, and then this is rough granite. There we go. And then the same thing with the diorite and all of that in its own specified chests. And then that fourth chest at the bottom, I'm not too sure what I want to do with that. I might do just put prismarine in there or something. Something like that. I'm not too sure. Maybe just like normal stone bricks too. Either one. Those could work. Either of those could work. So, put this all away. And then what we could have is the chest over next to this would be like, okay, this is iron ore, gold ore. Or not not just ores, you know, like smelted versions and ores and so forth. So, iron, gold, diamonds, lapis, emeralds, if I manage to get that many. Redstone. All of that good stuff. Okay. Oh, you know what? I know what this could be for. Okay. This could be for our normal stone. And then, if we wanted, we could have stone brick as an option also down there by doing this. And now, stone brick is also something we can put away in... Oops. I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. Okay. And we'll put that away. There we go. Looks very nice. Uh, so this could be the iron chest. Uh, 
Actually, I think that coal should go on top, since coal is what we use to smelt everything. Because that, that only makes sense, right? It's one of the more important things in the game, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to go anywhere in the game. Just put the iron ore like that. And diorite was down, or andesite was down there, so we can put that away. Now, let's go- Oh, you enderman, that was not funny. You jerk. Jerk. I can't shoot you, sadly. I want to shoot that enderman so bad, but he'll just teleport away, and it won't make a difference, so... That doesn't matter, then. I guess, uh, zombie flesh could be a thing that could have its own chest. Fish will definitely need its own chest. I think... Pork will- or not pork, uh... Steak will also need its own chest, and maybe even wheat, since there seems to be a lot of wheat on the server that you can get. So, uh, I said these chests, yeah. So these chests will be all the food that we have. So this is cooked fish that will go into this one. And since we have a large amount of cooked fish, we won't have to worry about running out of it for a while. Uh... Rotten flesh will obviously go in the bottom, because, you know, rotten flesh isn't the most useful item in the game, especially when it comes to food. Uh, I, you can use it to trade, but that's about it. it that's where it, its use kind of stops. Okay, put all of this steak like that. Is it called steak, right? Yeah, it is called steak. I, I don't know why I forgot what it was called. I've been playing Minecraft for a while, and I should know what it's called, but I don't. Because... I don't eat very often? I don't know. That's... Okay, so what else could we put into the chest to organize at this moment? We want to have a tools chest, of course. That's where we can put all of our, like, we'll have a pickaxe chest, a, an axe chest. We'll have all of those so we can put our tools away in a place that's easy to find. We also have some more cobblestone and diorite. I keep forgetting now the names of each tool. So, or a block. Yep. The blocks are tools now. Do that, and then put that in there. And this can go like that. So, uh, other than that, what we could do the rest of this episode is we could take a tra- a travel. We could take a travel. We could possibly travel to the nether and see what's going on there, and if there are any resources nearby, but I'm not too sure if we're going to do that or not. Uh, get rid of that. No, I want that. Okay. Uh, we will need more lighting. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to the Guardian farm sometime and farm there while uh, it's not occupied, because Dragon of Anger's been there for a while now, and I don't want to come in there and say, hey, well, that's too bad, you're AFKing here, but I'm gonna take everything. I'm not gonna do that, no. I would AFK myself, and get everything myself. Maybe we could just put bones in that, okay. Because I actually have a lot of bones from the, uh, the mob grinder that was over this way somewhere. I don't know exactly where it was, but in that general direction. And I guess it, it kind of relates to food, because, you know, we can make bone meal out of it. So maybe what we should do is... Where did I put it? I, I really need to get some leather and make some... Enderman, did you make that sound? Because that didn't sound very healthy. I don't know what that sound was, but... Um, uh, now I've lost my train of thought. No, 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 no. Oh, we can go over to the barbecue for the cows and then get some leather from that. But that's something we'll do in another episode. We'll put the frames on. And, you know, it's not that hard. I might even do it off camera. But I think... Actually, let me go check something real quick to make sure I'm not ending the episode too quickly. But I think this has been a while. I'm not sure. Well, I don't really have much else planned for this episode, but I guess I could go over and tell you what I'm going to do with this. Now, right around on these, the I'm going to have tunnels split by, you know, like one block like this. I want to have three by three tunnels 
that are color coded and they each go to different areas. Now these areas, I'm not sure what's going to be in each area, but they're all going to have a different functionality and so forth. And I was thinking that some of this wall here, since I somehow managed to screw up completely with this, I thought, well, maybe this could be the sign wall. We could put signs saying where each destination led and what the functionality of that destination was. And then I'm sure I won't be able to fill that up because there won't be enough space. See, uh... But, uh, that's kind of the plan for that. And then afterwards, what I wanted to do was make sure all the tunnels were color-coded with glass so you could see through them. And then I wanted to have a observatory area, which you went down into, and then you could look up, and I'd have a huge cleared-out area where you could see all the tunnels going to the different places. Because I think that would kind of look cool. So, you know, like, the floor might be right here might be made of glass. I don't know. But that's going to be something we'll have to do a lot further into the series. But I think it's kind of a cool idea that we can kind of remember when we get there. Uh, I will need to get a lot of sand, though. And I still have yet to find diamonds. Mainly because I can't find a cave that hasn't already been explored, but... Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Got, uh, I said guys again. That's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. And uh, Enderman, sa Enderman says bye. Oh, no, 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 yeah, he says bye. I'm dead now. Goodbye!